Hi, today I'm going to show you how to prove these hard inequalities. Okay, so let's have a look at the questions. Um, so the question says there's three numbers here, A, B, C, and both of all of them has to be less than one but bigger than zero. And uh, also have extra condition with A plus B plus C equal to two. Proving a over 1 minus a times b over 1 minus b times c over 1 minus c bigger than or equal to 8. Okay, so this is a hard inequality because um, they have some extra conditions like a plus b plus c equal to 2. But the proving ones is a over 1 minus a and b over 1 minus b, c over 1 minus c. So the proving bits and the given condition bits looks like they have no connections. They are far away. So all I can see from beginning, I can see, oh, because A is less than 1, bigger than 0, so I know 1 minus A is positive numbers. So I know all my left-hand side, the denominator is positive, numerator is positive. So that's all I can see. But how I using the second conditions, A plus B plus C equal to 2, to getting my A over 1 minus A, B over 1 minus B, and C over 1 minus C. So this, this is pretty far. So how do we start the questions? So I'm going to starting from the given and I try to reach the proof. So given is a plus b plus c equal to 2. But the proof is 1 minus a, 1 minus b. How do I make him 1 minus a from a plus b plus c equal to 2? So I'm going to try this. So I get something 1 minus a first. So from there, I can say b plus c equals to 2 minus a, okay, but that's not 1 minus a. So the 2 is annoying. So how are you going to make it 1 minus a? So what if I have 2 minus 2a? So if I minus another extra a on my right-hand side, so I have to minus a on the left-hand side as well. So I have b plus c also minus a. So I made 2 minus 2a. So then I can take the 2 outside with 1 minus a. So I made 1 minus a. So I have b plus c minus a on this side. So now I kind of made uh, 1 minus a because uh, the 2 I can simply divide to on the left hand side. So from the given, I actually made uh, 1 minus a. So from there, I can also do another similar sentence, which is if I do um a plus c is equals to 2 minus b then i do a plus c minus another extra b i will get a 2 minus 2b and then from there i can say sorry um should be a plus c minus b will be equals 2 of 1 minus b, right? So I made these two sentences, which is very useful. These two sentences, I'm going to highlight it, okay? So this one and this one. So if I times these two sentences together, what do I have? So I have 4 of 1 minus a, 1 minus b, is equals to b plus c minus a and uh, a plus c minus b. Right, so this is a very important sentence I made because the left hand side looks like the question is I need to prove part of it. So I changed to something with a, b, c on the right hand side. So now I'm going to focus on my right hand side. So my right hand side is um, I can change to is C plus A minus B and also C minus A minus B. So that's same as C square minus A minus B or square. Right, so right hand side become this. So now from this, I can find some inequalities here. So since we have a minus b all square, so which means this is always bigger than or equal to zero since it's square. 
So then negative a minus b all square would be less than or equal to zero since I put a negative on the negative the left hand side. So I plus c square on both sides, then I will have less than or equals to c square. Very important sentence here. So the right hand side actually is less than c squared. So the right hand side of this sentence, I'm going to highlight this. The green highlighter. The left hand side of the green highlighter is four times one minus a one minus b. And the right hand side is actually less than c squared. So from this green highlighter, I can have very important sentence now, which is Therefore, 4 of 1 minus a and 1 minus b will be less than or equal to c squared. From there, then I can make another two sentences similarly. I can have 4 of 1 minus b, 1 minus c will be less than or equal to a squared. Or I can have 4 of... 1 minus a and the 1 minus c will be less than or equal to b squared. So all these three sentences I call sentence 1, sentence 2, sentence 3 if I times them together. All three sentences come together. So I actually have a really good result. So I have 64 of 1 minus a squared, 1 minus b squared. 1 minus c squared is less than or equals to a squared b squared c squared. Wonderful. So it's very close to my questions, proof questions. And uh, I, as I mentioned in the beginning of the questions, I said 1 minus a is positive, 1 minus b is positive, 1 minus c is positive, since the a, b, c, they are all less than 1 bigger than 0. So I can easily square root my left hand side and the right hand side without consider positive negative without consider inequality sign since they both sides are positive. So I square root both sides. So I get eight, one minus a, one minus b, one minus c is less than or equals to a b c. How wonderful! And then I almost there. I can divide by 1 minus a, 1 minus b, 1 minus c on both sides since this is positive numbers. So I will get 8 will be less than or equals to a, b, c over 1 minus a, 1 minus b, 1 minus c. So that's the question they asked us to prove at the very beginning. That's a question here. So you can see. So I just need to... Uh, rearrange a little bit and flip left and right so therefore I will have a over 1 minus a times b over 1 minus b times c over 1 minus c is bigger than or equal to 8.